showing up uh, at uh, 9 a.m. Uh, on a Saturday. I'm Viral Shah. I'm one of the co-inventors of the Julia language, and uh, we even have uh, you know we have Shashi out here uh, who's the core Julia contributor. We have uh, Ravi Mohan out here who's also a Julia contributor now. And uh, as you can see, the Julia community in Bangalore has already grown threefold. Last year it would have been just me maybe giving this talk. Today we are three Julia people out here. Are there others that I don't know of? Maybe anyone else who has tried out Julia has used it out here? Okay. Just a, okay. Julia box, okay. Okay, so some, okay. Have, what have you done with Julia? Just kind of test the waters, okay. All right, so you know this is functional conference, right? So I'm, uh, I, I guess I should uh, really be talking about some functional aspects of Julia and stuff like that. But I mean, I, I think you guys all know all that stuff, right? Your maps and folds and filters, and I'm not a huge fan of them, anyways. Uh, so, <laughs> um, uh, what, what I'm what I'm planning to do is I have a whole bunch of demos actually. And, and hopefully these will motivate, you know, why Julia, why did we even start, why did we even need a new language and, and what are some of the design criteria, the design uh, things that we went through. And it's, what, what I think we, what I would like to do is make this completely interactive to as much of an extent as possible so that, you know, it's not just me giving a monologue, but I'd really like sort of people to ask questions as we go along challenge me on stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll try to say stuff that hopefully will evoke uh, people to challenge me. Um, yeah, so with that, uh, let me start off. Uh, so Julia today, uh, some of you might wonder, right, where it is, what, what it is, why, you know, why is it even interesting? The Julia community is about 100,000 users today is our estimate uh, at a pessimistic level. It's being taught in about probably, you know, 30 to 50 universities as course material. It's, uh, you know, IIT Bombay yesterday came out, uh, there was an article in Economic Times, IIT Bombay had this $100 laptop. Anyone saw that article or heard about this $100 laptop? So they just git cloned Julia and type make and eight hours later Julia was running on the $100, uh, you know, IIT laptop, the ARM, ARM book. So, uh, you know, people are just kind of taking Julia, putting it on Raspberry Pis, putting it on netbooks, putting it on, you know, their servers, putting it on, you know, uh, doing their their analytics, people are doing all kinds of stuff, people are using it for research um, and I'd, I'd like to maybe mention a couple of very interesting use cases. I, I don't actually have real slides, I, I just have a bunch of IPython notebooks, so I'll, I'll just talk about uh, some of the use cases that I've seen people using.